hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so before we get it started i really want to thank the phantom community for their constant support and their love they have shown me for this past few months it's been a great journey so far and i really want to uh, just take a moment and thank the community um one thing that i have when i started this channel i really wanted to uh make it unbiased videos um especially uh, concentrating on the technicals uh, on the crypto market all right and i will continue to do so uh, uh, to my capabilities all right i want to make sure that i'm like offering unbiased and i'm offering honest video reviews uh to the community and uh, to the viewers of this channels all right um so i just want to reiterate that fact and i i got so many comments over the weekend um the video that i made on verge saturday <laughs> uh, there were a few comments and I, I i just wanted to like you know uh, some people are questioning that why i made that video on it um since there were some negative articles on verge and media and i wasn't aware of it uh so i just wanted to clear that up and um thank you all, all for your support and your comments that really do mean a lot all right um so let's start with uh, bitcoin let's do a morning video review um right now it's 8 30 a.m eastern here in us bitcoin is trading around seven thousand dollars right now um what we are seeing right now is it's a lower base so what what i mean by lower base is we have last four days and this four the fourth day right now is still trading right now it's not the candlestick hasn't been closed yet uh, so we, we don't know how it's going to close it might close up it might close a little bit lower or it might close right in like a create a doji uh, where a doji is basically it's indecision that it cannot figure it out if he wants to move up or move down all right um so right now what we are this is a we are creating a lower base so couple of things might happen here either we will get a nice bounce for uptick this is a must uh, this level um, we need to hold this level pretty pretty uh, uh, pretty well and it's like a one of those level that uh, if, if we cannot hold it then we will see that 6,000 fairly soon and uh, I have said it in the previous video that that will be another buying opportunity if that levels uh if the six thousand comes as a second um second support level all right so right now um let me take a moment and unhide uh the drawings okay so if you can see i, I want to zoom in a little bit okay so if you if you see this trend line uh, i know this is getting the charts and uh, the drawings are a little bit getting clustered uh, i'm gonna try to hide some of those things uh, i don't want to get rid of them because they will come into equation sooner um so i don't want to completely get rid of them all right um okay all right so i I talked about this trend line this uh, red trend line that's coming right here uh, a few times almost like every time I create the video uh, for past few months I have been talking about this major trend line um, that we have been spotting since that 20,000 mark all right um, that trend line acted as a really nice support yesterday so if you see this candlestick from uh, April 1 April the 1st um, it ended up right over that trend line and the support level of 6800 and that's a very bullish sign the reason that being is this is a major trend line if we were to close below that trend line then it would would have signal that we have a little bit more selling pressure on the downside but the fact that yesterday Sunday um, we closed over that 6800 level and over this trend line that is a good sign for the bulls now that being said we are not out of the bushes yet we need a strong confirmation with volume on the upside okay until then 
um, we have to be skeptical of this market we have to be skeptical of this price action all right so today it's very critical that we have to break um, today and tomorrow so in next 24 to 48 hours it's very critical that we break this trend line uh, this red one right here um, <clears throat> this is the small one that's coming and I'm going to mark this one so this is the wedge the major wedge that happened it broke down we talked about it in the previous videos it broke down and we had a, a lot of selling pressure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove those wedges so it becomes a little bit more cleaner all right same thing here I'm gonna remove this pink uh, falling wedge that we uh, that occurred and that that um, that took us a nice bounce after that break up, break out of that falling wedge so I'm gonna remove that now since that has been passed and we don't need to see that right now okay so <clears throat> what we are seeing um, and this red one I'm gonna mark it as a pink the reason I'm marking this as a pink is I want to have it color coordinated anything that is a major resistance and, and support is going to be a red one and anything that is like you know intermediate resistance and support uh, I'm gonna mark it as a pink so just to kind of you know color coordinate that and so we don't get it like you know confused with um, red and other like you know trend lines and th this kind of things you know it, it just you have to like you know um, try to do like you can color coordinate with whatever color that you prefer it's nothing has to do with like red it, you can make this blue you can make this pink whatever you want like it's completely your preference but something that kind of like you know visually gives you an indication that hey uh, the pink one is a you know it's a smaller time frame or not time frame but smaller trend and the like a red one is a bigger uh, bigger trend all right so that's all it's just a color coordination uh, methods all right um, so as I mentioned we are in this lower base creation right now um, this uh, on the upside on the upside one of the level that we need to clear fairly soon is 7200 all right 7200 level is going to act as a resistance a uh, couple of things there is a, a price level resistance and there is a uh, downward channel resistance um, that started few uh, like into like end of last month or earlier this month um, so there are a couple of resistance um, at 7200 so if we can get past that 7200 level with a good volume uh, then we can um, we can definitely have a short squeeze uh, for the uh, in the market what 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 is short squeeze basically it's like you know uh, squeezing the bears out of the market and uh, getting a nice uptick in the price action all right and that can occur if we break this pink trend line that we are seeing right now if that happens we will see a, a nice uptick same thing if you look at this pattern right here same thing is this when it broke if this trend line when it broke we had the short squeeze a lot of volume came in we had a like a nice move from 8400 to almost 9200 all right so that was a nice move obviously the volume wasn't enough for a follow through and we sold off that's why i'm keep on saying that we need to see a higher volume to have a positive confirmation that we are uh, getting out of this downward channel okay um let's look at the let's look at um, media coin desk coin desk is one of those sites that is very tend to have more like bearish articles um but I don't mind watching it I have to be honest because I I rather know all my negative beforehand rather than um, you know just reading all the positive things so coinbase tend to be uh, sorry coin desk tend to be more on the negative side uh, but let's see all right Bitcoin is closing for cutting fees with better coin selection all right um, Bitcoin is gain after death cross fails um, so nothing 
nothing that is again there is nothing that really strike me as a red flag I I have gone through the, all this and it, for me it doesn't strike anything that is striking me as a red flag um, there will be some short-term pressure like you know there's this lot of lot of governments lot of the governments around the world trying to figure out how to tackle this and this is a good problem to have so the reason I'm saying it's a good problem to have is it's making Bitcoin legit all right so far there were so many until last year until late last year majority of the people um, around the world uh, they really thought about Bitcoin as a scam or like you know it's like a, a trend that is going to die down uh, but the thing is this thing is just in such an infant stage right now there is a huge like the adoption rate uh, it's the a lot of people want to get into it it's not that people are uh, people are watching from the sideline if you even talk to, with your friends and family you will see like uh, uh, you know people wants to get in but some of them are still skeptical some of them are non-believer and I mean whatever it is but the or the fact is this is still in the very early stage it's think about internet in early 90s all right uh, when it was just getting into the market um, you know people were skeptical about all the dot-com I mean there it created the bubble right it did create that bubble in the uh, late 90s but it those things uh, it really changed the whole um, the whole market and the how we do our day-to-day -day business uh, around the world now so same thing will happen with cryptocurrencies right it's really revolution revolutionary revolutionary that it will change a lot of a lot of the things a lot of the way we do business around the world um, so that's why I'm saying it's it's still in very infant stage and it has a long way to go so um, the question is how you are going to like you know tackle the market how you are going to uh, trade and hopefully become a profitable investor rather than someone who is completely burned out and out of the game right so uh, you have to constantly learn um, apply everyone make mistakes it's not that you know if no if, if you don't make mistakes then how will you how will you learn anything from that right the the key is you you learn from the mistakes and you apply it into your next uh, in your, your next trade into the trade after that that's how you you know keep on learning and you know getting better okay so just to recap on Bitcoin we need to see this levels we need to make sure we are staying over 6800 today that is a very key level that we need to stay over if we cannot stay over 6800 then I can we can easily see um, perhaps maybe like 6200 um, or like you know uh, 6400 so we need to for today we need to stay over 6800 um, and into next few days we need to get over 7200 with a good volume okay so I'm gonna uh, you know I'm gonna repeat it uh, say it again today we need to stay over 6800 and in next couple of days we need to get over 7200 with a good volume that will uh, if we can do that we can easily see some momentum on the bull side and then we have to reevaluate um, the charts we have to reevaluate the market but take a smaller bite don't try to like you know call out that hey we are seeing 5000 or we are seeing you know 10000 right now it's it's in a very critical stage all right um, and making irrational call is not going to do anything it's just going to like make you you might it's it's a complete 50-50 and if someone tells you that we are gonna see ten thousand um, in next couple of weeks or like five thousand in next couple of weeks, I mean there is nothing that shows you technically right now that that will occur. So, I would my recommendation is take it step by step. Um, look at the smaller picture right now rather than going for the bigger picture uh, that will like you know makes things much easier and hopefully that will help you navigate this market in a better way all right so 7200 that's the level we need to clear on the upside with a good volume and we need to stay over 6800 
um, for intermediate okay uh, if the selling pressure comes and if we we'll see those 70 uh, 6200 level um, that in my opinion that is still a good buying opportunity um, I when I made the video yesterday I mentioned that bears are getting weaker uh, what I mean by that again is like you know the selling pressure was dying just like you know on the upside when the buying pressure was dying here when the buying pressure was dying around 11,700 same concept selling pressure is dying around this levels right now so uh, we have to see if there is any uh, if, there, if, if we get any positive news or positive article on cryptocurrencies uh, fairly soon then it, this it is if it can easily break this level within the next 24 to 48 hours okay so let's quickly look at the four hours again so four hours um, and I'm gonna have those RSI and MACD on it um, so same thing you know we need to when to get through that um, I, I can see this inverse head and shoulder here as well a um, lot of inverse head and shoulder has happened in past few few months so let's see if, if this one can um, follow through on the upside okay so again to recap take a smaller picture right now watch the smaller picture rather than going and calling out like a big numbers like 5,000 or like 10,000 on the upside it just very it's in a very like an uncertain stage right now so uh, treat the market like as is and you will uh, you'll you will avoid all those blind spots because let's say if you make that call that hey it's gonna go to 10,000 and if it doesn't go and your expectations are that hey I'm I'm getting into the market because it's gonna go to 10,000 then you will be the one on the you know you will feel a little bit like you know yeah, uh, that hey why it's not working and this and that you will mentally you won't be satisfied so that's why it's it's really becomes like you know that mental game where you want to make sure your expectations are set right and you know set properly so like uh, same thing on the downside like if you're saying oh my god this is gonna go to five thousand this is gonna go to three thousand can it go there yes it can go there I mean there is market will do whatever the market wants to do market is not going to listen to you or me or anyone else alright so uh, what you can do is like set up your trade that's the only thing you can do alright so uh, make sure you're like obviously uh, this is a I'm still again I think this is a better buying opportunity right now but we'll find out we have to like I wouldn't go all in still in this junction I don't think this is worth I would never ever go all in but if there is a more selling pressure uh, then I will add more position that's that's the basic um, principle right now and that's how um, you know um, uh, that's how like you know you should be like following or if I mean if you want to make few trades then um, just make sure you're on especially in the altcoins make sure you're keeping your stop losses alright so that's all we're getting a little bit longer on this video um, I will cover some altcoins later today and uh, we'll go from there alright as usual if you think this is helping you with your trading with your investing uh, then please give me thumbs up and if you're new to the channel uh, please subscribe to the channel I do co uh, post this content every day alright talk to you soon bye